Welcome to Computer Keys Tutorials. This video will demonstrate how to use Keys Overlay to turn a plain spooled file into so much more in just a couple of minutes. I'll start by importing a spooled file into the mapping tool by selecting the Work with Spooled Files tab and then clicking Open. Today, I'll be working with a sample invoice. The ultimate goal is to take the plain text of the spooled file and fancy it up into a professional document that can be printed or emailed. I've already created a PDF using the spooled file, so I can show you right now what the final product will look like. As you can see, it has boxes, lines, overlaid headings, changed fonts, colors, and sizes, and a company logo in the top left corner. You'll be surprised how fast and easy it is to make these changes with Keys Overlay. The controls are so intuitive that it only takes a moment to create eye-catching documents. The first thing I'm going to do is change the page dimensions to be more in line with an invoice. Instead of a height of 11 inches, I'll use 7. And instead of 66 rows per page, I'll make it 42. Next, I'll change the process mode from full page to field mapping. This will allow me to manipulate the attributes of individual lines or fields instead of affecting everything on the full page at once. The other available processing mode is line logic, which is used to add logic statements to how the page is drawn. This is necessary when dealing with things such as reports, which can be potentially thousands of pages long. I'll demonstrate how to work in line logic mode in the next video, titled Keys Overlay, Building a Report with Line Logic. For this document, however, I will select Field Mapping. The top portion of the window has tabs that will display information on each object that is added to the overlay. I can add images, draw lines or boxes, put in headings, and manipulate any existing fields. The rest of the tabs are for defining logic for more advanced programming tasks. The bottom portion of the window displays a preview of what the overlay looks like at any given moment, and also has tabs for importing images and spooled files. Now let's look back at the final product. I can start drawing the features I see here directly onto the preview in the mapping tool, and then importing them to the overlay from within the drawing tab. I'll start with the outer box. After clicking Export, I can now manipulate all of his attributes, changing the horizontal and vertical starts and ends. I'll leave the line width and color alone for now, but I'll change the corner radius to 5 to give it rounded edges, like you can see in the PDF. Now I'll draw the three thick blue lines. Again, all I have to do is draw them straight into the preview. And then click Export. I'll give it a line with the 5 and change the color to dark blue. I'll make a copy of the line. And then I can right click where I want the copy to be and select Move Vertical. I'll do it again for the third line. Next, I'm going to draw the filled boxes. Just drag them where you want them and click export. I'll give this one a line width of 1 and change the color back to black. And then I'm going to change the fill color to a light blue. And then check the box. Now I'll copy this one. And put the copy down here. Now I'll put a box around the date. I'll give this one rounded corners with a corner radius of 5. Next, vertical lines. I just draw them straight in. I'll take this first line, I'll make a duplicate of it, and I'll move it over by moving horizontally, and I'll draw the other two shorter lines. Now for the company logo. Go to the Images tab, and then work with single image, and just click Open, and then export. It comes in full size, so I'll change the scaling to 22%. Now I can right click where I want the upper left corner to be, and click Move Object, and it pops right into the spot I provided for it. 
Now I want to take the first line, which includes the company name and invoice number, and make that information stand out better. I want each part to have different attributes, so I need to break the line up into two separate fields. To do this, I need to first remove the line from the Fields tab, and then add it back in two parts under the Work with Spooled Files tab. While we're in the Fields tab, I'm scrolling down to remove the line of dashes, which I drew the field box over the top of. Now over to the Work with Spooled Files tab. I need to add the company name and invoice number back to the overlay by selecting them individually and clicking Export. I can now change the two fields' attributes individually. I'll make the company name Arial, size 16 font, and bold. I'll make the invoice number Arial as well, size 20 font, bold and change the color to dark blue. The last thing I need to do is add a couple of headings to the overlay. First, I'll add the words invoice number right here. Change the font to Arial size to 20, make the color the same dark blue color as the invoice number itself, and make it bold. Next I'm going to add the words thank you to the bottom of the page. We'll make it script font. Change the size to 30, and make the color red. And that's it. The invoice is now identical to the sample with very little work. Thank you for watching. You can visit us at computerkeys.com.